everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenger. Welcome back to my channel. I am outside today. I am going to possibly, possibly finish the uh, little library. So what I plan on doing is using some of that wood filler because I have some areas of wood that need to be filled, obviously. I'm going to do a rough sanding after that, then a smooth sanding. Then I'm going to caulk. I have everything I need uh, for paint and the roof. I couldn't find um, free shingles and I didn't want to buy a whole box because you can't buy them in individual uh, shingles. So what I did was buy the quick start peel and stick starter roll and I'm just going to put layers of that on top of the roof. I have my driveway uh, sealer, the black stuff. I'm going to put that on the roof here first um, to make sure I have a good seal in case there's water seepage. I don't want the whole thing to rot away. And once everything is dried or so, before I start painting, I got to re-sand everything to a smooth finish and then I'll paint. Colors, I'm doing white and the red from my front and back door. I've decided to do those colors because they do match my house and they um, already available. <laughs> I told you I'm trying to not spend any money on this and so far I barely spent any maybe 25 bucks and that was for the hinge and what else uh, did I purchase some of the uh, wood um, pieces so yeah and then I have to put the handle so we'll see how far along I can get today This here is my leftover driveway sealant um, that I used for my driveway obviously last year. So I'm going to mix it because of course you know the stuff is at the bottom. And I'm going to use that on the roof first so that way it has time to dry. And the purpose of this is basically to seal the roof before I put any kind of shingles on it. So that way it will be uh, weatherproofed. All right, so this is where I'm at. I finally put that uh, missing piece right here. I did find a piece in the garage and the roof has, um, it's not closing because I have the edge of the table here. Just wanna make sure. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's got two coats and I did the underside as well. So that should do it. And this is uh, not yet dry, but almost. So what I'm gonna do is use my wood filler and this thing really stinks, the uh, bondo. And I'm gonna put it in places like here. I don't know if you can tell, but the wood was um, damaged because, you know, I use scrap wood. So I'm gonna fill all of that and any other crack that I may have, including the sides here. Um, though I could, you know what, let me move this here so it can close, okay. Um, though I could put a little baguette here, I may end up doing that, but I can't put a baguette here, so I'm gonna do it here for this I have uh, little trims and then where else do I need to do it uh, don't think here in those little areas here and then everything else here is gonna get caulked
while this is drying I'm gonna put those on and let me tell you <laughs> I really enjoy doing stuff like that I'm not good at it but I don't care I'm just I don't know I love it you know it's relaxing I'm not stressed it's a beautiful day outside. It's a little chilly, but it's a beautiful day. Alright, so the wood putty is still uh, drying. Let me show you what I got. These are starter strips uh, for roofs and they are self-adhesive. Um, it's 25 bucks for a roll. It's much cheaper than buying a $59 um, box of shingles that I'm going to end up having like 15 shingles I don't know what to do with. So what I'm doing is basically cutting it to size. I'm putting liquid nail on top of my surface here. And I'm just going to adhere them one at a time with a little overlap on both sides. And that's going to give me a roof, hopefully. And I'm just going to give them a little bit of a nail here and there. All right, the overlap is so that the water uh, can drip away from it. I don't think I can curb them, but it's just as good as uh, shingles. Of course, I wouldn't do a whole house roof with that, but it's a library. Okay, that should be enough. So for the basic, they come as a roll like this, and I just need 22 inches. So there you go. I have a roof. Let me turn it. So you can see it better. Water goes down. It's dripping away from the wood. I think it's gonna work out. Now I have some glue here. I gotta see if the uh, liquid nail stays white or if it uh, clears. If it doesn't clear, I'll put some, um... yeah, I'll do it now. Well, 
the bondo is still not dry. So I'm gonna start sanding the door. I'm doing a rough sand first. And then I'll do a smooth one. Um, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to paint today. So I'll do it next weekend. Um, I'm gonna leave this outside until, well, I gotta check the weather first to see when it's going to uh, rain. And then I'll bring it back in or put it in the garage. Um, and then next week, I'll prime and paint. And then I just gotta do the base, dig a hole, put some concrete in it, rocks, you name it. And we'll have a little library. But for now, I got a lot of sanding to do. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm done. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't get as much done today as I was hoping for. Part of it is the bondo just won't dry and to be honest, um, it's really difficult to work with. It's uh, very tacky and um, you, you can't really mold it. So what I did since it's still drying anyway, I put another layer. Um, to really cover that big ditch I had over there and then I filled in you know cracks here and there um, it all gonna have to get sanded down again uh, so basically all I got done today was the roof and sand the front door to a nice smooth finish and then I filled up the hole where the old handle used to be and Put those two little shelves thing. Um, I think I'm going to reinstall the door. I'm realizing that it's off by a lot, <laughs> so I need to re screw it in. Um, but I did install those, that looks pretty. I can't do anything here yet because this is still drying, but yeah, little library. Disappointed, but I have a roof. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually a holiday today. It's um, Columbus Day. Uh, I'm off. I'm gonna take the boys to Barnes & Noble, clean up a bit, and um, that would be it. Kind of a maid today for me. <laughs> um, but I'm glad I have the roof done. And, oh, I forgot I was able to put the uh, sealer on the wood too. I definitely have to move the door a tiny bit. Um, what I may end up doing is getting a better hinge. This hinge is only 12 inches, I think I need to get the full hinge for the door. It's probably gonna be better in the long run anyway, but it's getting there. <laughs> Not where I want it to be, but it's getting there. Give me a thumbs up if you still like those videos and are looking forward to the next episode. I will see you later. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.